guess what guys i am going to finally be able to afford the iphone 12 after after two years either way something that's out today and free and affordable for everyone is macOS pixel beta 10 so let's quickly see what macOS pixel 11 beta 10 has to offer what's up guys welcome back to half men of tech i feel like you know it took it took some time for us to be able to finally get beta 10 of mark west pixel we skipped a week in between but today we do have mark west pixel beta 10 now for me on my 2016 15 inch mbp it comes in at 3.82 gig now this update is slightly bigger compared to what i had on beta 9 beta 9 was smaller by 300 megabytes also this update had partially downloaded in the background i have my update settings my automatic update settings set to off because i want to update manually and make a video for you but i noticed that it had downloaded half of it and the moment i went to the software update page it quickly downloaded i think it took about three minutes to finish the download however the preparation for the software update itself took super long it took about 35 minutes and this is not just for me there's a ton of people that are messaging me saying you know my mac is stuck on the preparation screen so this actually seems to be an issue with this update so just give it some time and be patient if we go into the about this mark section and then go to storage and click manage storage just to see how much storage is being taken up by this mark west pixel 11 beta 10 it just takes a moment to load but you can see that for me on my 2016 15 inch mbp it's taking 16.28 gig now this is also an increase compared to what i had on beta 9 beta 9 was smaller by 100 megabytes also if we go back just to see the build number that we have that came with macOS pixel beta 10 we can see that the software version that we have with beta 10 is 20a5395 g this software version has a g at the end and some people are looking at it and going like what a g we had a c and then we went like four steps back to a g it's you know it's almost telling you not to update because it took four steps back and perhaps it's trying to tell you that macOS Big Sur is officially not going to be released as soon as we actually anticipated it to be you never know anyways let's look at the new features changes and bug fixes that came with macOS Big Sur. there's a ton of them and now let's start with the first one that i noticed here for me on my 2016 15 inch mbp i actually had 4k safari starting from beta 6 of mac os pixel but then from beta 7 onwards until beta 9 4k video on youtube in safari sort of got removed however i noticed that with this mac os pixel beta 10 it's finally back you know you'd like to think that it's a good thing but youtube is actually not working in safari so yeah you get an error page sometimes if you get an ad to pop up you get a like a black screen behind the ad and then once you close the ad you get like a black page or an error message telling you that you know there's something irregardless of whether you are connected using you know ethernet or using wi-fi for those that have marks that are showing youtube in safari you now have 4k video in safari on macOS pixel beta 10 also another new feature if we go into the system preferences and then go to the desktop and screensaver we now have quite a number of new changes in this section we have eight new wallpapers under desktop pictures now for me i actually like a lot of these wallpapers but my favorite two are going to be this one that depicts the road and also this one that has like bluish 
grass or something like that because you know if you look at my background it seems to match well with my background but there's a ton of new wallpapers under the wallpaper section and not only that but there's a, also a ton of updates when it comes to the screensaver page too this is something that i like it's good to see that you know with this macOS pixel they've actually now added the pictures as they did previously with catalina if you look closely at the dynamic wallpapers that we have on top of the wallpaper section there you can see that you know they have actually been updated they now have like some partial segments that depicts like different light rays so this is something cool also that came with macOS pixel beta 10 there's a new recently played menu on the control center in the top corner there now different marks at this time are seeing different layouts so if you don't see some of the options here like for me i'm actually missing some features that other users that use macOS pixel and some of my friends have so it seems to be you know jumping from one mark to another but you now have quite a number of icons that have been touched up and updated also with beta 10 that we have here if you go into your settings or system preferences and then go to your trackpad settings you can see that the gesture graphics interchange format that we have has been updated now from time to time this is actually freezing but something to take note of is that the background has actually been replaced to depict that of pixel which is the default pixel wallpaper that came with macos pixel and not that background that we had on catalina now also if you have airpods or airpods pro you'd be happy to know that handover is actually here finally with macos pixel it was here with beta 9 however on beta 9 there were quite a number of issues but this time around even if you open or connect your airpods to a different device coming from the mac it will actually tell you that you know handover has been submitted to the iphone or your airpods have been you know connected to a new device and this is something that's finally working with macOS pixel beta 10 unlike beta 9 also when you are connecting your airpods to your macbook say for example coming from your iphone and connecting to your mac or from an ipad con and connecting to your mac there's actually an icon that's going to pop up in your top menu bar there and it's an icon that's going to depict airpods or airpods pro depending on the ones that you have this is something cool because they can actually differentiate the two so that's something cool that came with macOS pixel beta 10 i don't have airpods pro but if you do this is something that you would want to check out if you have updated to beta 10 i don't know if you can hear this but that sound is also back and it's working unlike beta 9 of macOS pixel so thumbs up now if you are one who plays with languages a lot you'll be happy to know that if you set your system language to greek meaning to say that you know you can translate any website that you visit using safari to greek you now don't have to worry about your notes and photos crashing unlike beta 9 this was an issue and apparently with beta 10 this has been fixed i have my system settings set to english so this is not a bug that i experienced but in the apple release notes they did mention that this issue has finally been resolved also something that's good for content creators especially those that use final cut pro and use their marks for video content you'll be happy to know that finally unlike beta 9 of macOS pixel final cut pro is now more stable and working as it's supposed to and when you share anything let's say you want to save a file or you want to share a video to youtube the moment you click the share icon it's no longer crashing unlike beta 9 thumbs up to apple i think this is something that i perhaps reported like six times so thank you for addressing this issue we gotta have some bugs to appreciate the good things that have been fixed so let's talk about the bugs and issues that are still here with macOS pixel beta 10 coming from beta 9 myself so the first bug that i noticed has to do with youtube so very bad youtube is not working if you visit the youtube website on beta 10 
using Safari, right? It's blacking out and it's giving an error message and that's a big issue. I tried even rebooting my Mac. So this is an issue and it seems like it's one that's going to stay until we get the next beta or the next version of Mac OS Pixel. The second issue that I noticed that's here with Mac OS Pixel has to do with the screen recording. If you're on beta 10 and you do a screen recording, you know how the screen recording goes in the corner, the bottom right corner of your Mac, and you can sort of drag it anywhere on the screen so that you find it easily. Now with beta 10, this is actually not working. Screen recordings are actually not showing up. So for you to be able to find the screen recording that you have done with beta 10 of Mac OS Pixel, you have to do the screen recording and then once you stop the screen recording and you get the pop-up in the bottom right of your Mac, you have to right click the screen recording before it disappears and then select the option that says open in Finder. Once you do this, you'll be able to see your screen recording and it will show up in Finder and also on your desktop. So that's an issue that I noticed and sort of a small workaround when it comes to that. So I noticed that, yes, it's good that we have new wallpapers and screen savers, but I noticed that there's quite a delay of about two to three seconds. It seems like when you select the new wallpapers that came with beta 10 of Mac OS Pixel, there's a delay, you know, between the time you select and the time the wallpaper applies. Now, these are not live wallpapers and they are certainly not screen savers. So I noticed this bug and I'm actually terrified of even trying, you know, to select the screen saver because if the wallpaper is freezing and sometimes, you know, delaying to set itself as the wallpaper, then imagine what the screen saver would do. Another thing that you'd want to know if you have a Mac, irregardless of whether you are on the beta or just basically a Mac in general, you'd want to know that Microsoft Office 2016 and older is no longer supported on the Mac. Now, the reason for this, uh, this actually kicked in yesterday, which was Tuesday, October the 13th. So if you have 2016 Office or older, you won't be able to have it on your Mac. And worse, if it's running Mac OS Big Sur, there were quite a number of issues, you know, with it crashing and so on. The reason for this is because, you know, there's a lot of bugs that are coming with those other Microsoft Office softwares, so bugs and also compatibility issues because Big Sur is new and those ones aren't being updated in a timely manner and also security concerns. So for that reason, Microsoft and Apple have decided to now, if you are adding a widget that has dynamic text, this will from time to time cause your notification center to quit unexpectedly. So you'd wanna watch out for this if you use dynamic text. And also another final bug, well, sort of an issue, but not a bug that came with Mac OS Pixel is that there's no full installation with Mac OS Pixel Beta 10. That means that if you are installing it from an external disk or drive, you actually won't be getting Mac OS Pixel Beta 10 right off. You'll be getting like Beta 4 or Beta 6, and then from there on, you have to update again to Mac OS Pixel Beta 10, which is, you know, more space and storage being taken up by the software. So those are some of the issues and bugs that are there with Mac OS Pixel Beta 10 that I managed to notice and dig out. Now, let's talk about battery performance. I've been using Beta 10 for about three hours now, you know, digging for new features and changes. And so far, I should say that, you know, battery performance seems to be no different with Beta 9. If you go to the system preferences and then go to the battery section, then you can see the screen on time that I've been getting on battery that it's basically around 10 to 11 hours using like 90% of the battery. And that was the performance that I've was getting on Mac OS Pixel Beta 9. So, so far it seems to be no different, but in my follow-up video, I would do an in-depth detail when it comes to battery performance because I would have used it more. Now, when it comes to performance, I should say that so far, I mean, you can't really tell that the Mac is slow, but it is slower compared to Beta 9. And I did buy Geekbench 5 in the previous, you know, Beta that I did. So with this video, I'm going to 
to be showing you the performance that I got with Geekbench 5 and I'm going to be comparing it to the performance that I had on beta 9 of Mac OS Pixel. So for CPU performance on beta 10, I got a score of 778 for single core. Previously with beta 9, I had 773. So it's more or less the same for single core in the CPU section. Now, when it comes to multi-core, I had a score of 3,484 on beta 10 and on beta 9 I had a score of 3368. If you compare the CPU performance that I'm getting here compared to you know what other marks that aren't on the beta version are getting you can see that you know single core is slightly below average in terms of performance for CPU however when it comes to multi-core this sort of cancels it out as there's a slight improvement when it comes to multi-core performance of Mac OS Pixel beta 10 that I'm on. GPU performance unfortunately though I had a lower score compared to beta 9 so on beta 10 I had a score of 17,502 and on beta 9 the score that I had was 17,692 so you know it's slightly reduced when it comes to graphics performance or GPU performance. On to perhaps one of the most asked questions that I get when it comes to MacOS Pixel. When is MacOS Pixel going to officially be released to the public? So this is the thing. Comparing to Catalina, Catalina got all the way to beta 10 and then after beta 10 the following week we got the GM version of Catalina and then after that we got the official version of Catalina on the 7th of October 2019 last year. This year though things seems to be a little bit different. I mean we all know that you know this year is different compared to last year. If you don't believe me then I think you now do. Quite a number of delays and also having to adjust you know from working from the office to working from home. That sort of delayed Mac OS Pixel and also Apple production. So when it comes to Mac OS Pixel comparing it to Catalina we are no longer going to follow the same release cycle unfortunately because if it was I mean it, the bus would have left man it's it's late right however we can sort of expect Mac OS Pixel perhaps mid November that seems to be the most logical way because I believe on the 29th of October this month and this year Apple has an earnings event and after that event they are going to start you know doing the final touches for the year which is the last section of their fourth quarter event and that's when we perhaps can expect Mac OS Pixel. So a mid November event seems to be more likely but again this has not yet been confirmed by Apple we're just sort of you know trying to analyze how things are going right now and where we think things will be whether you should update or not when it comes to Mac OS Pixel beta 10 I should say that you know it seems to sort of be slow a little bit I mean Final Cut Pro has been fixed so I'm happy for that but when it comes to other settings and so on and some other tasks it seems to be performing a bit poorly. I would say it depends on you know what issues you are facing on beta 9 because for me video editing is like a big thing so to each his own you know I'll let you decide. Overly though if I had to give you a summary Mac OS Pixel beta 10 comes with 14 known issues, 10 resolved issues and 4 Apple Seed known issues and 1 Apple Seed new feature. So to each his own and basically that's about it for me when it comes to Mac OS Pixel. I'm going to be doing a follow-up video in about two to three days so make sure you subscribe and check out for that. I'm going to be covering some more new features and more new bugs when I find them and that's about it for me guys. Once again stay safe and I will definitely see you in the next video very soon.